får det ögg. Som det här. Ah. That was a that was an all right night at this place. Just before you go into Keith. Keith. Keith, as we've been calling it. A place called Flotnahus. Which is an interesting name. Sounds sort of Scandinavian, doesn't it? Yeah. 100 pound a night. Rooms are really nice. Basically immaculate, comfortable rooms, aren't they? Nice to uh, kind of get out of the van for a bit and get our heads down. So yeah, there we go. I'm not the only P uh, VW camper van had the same idea. Oh, that person's been travelling for five weeks. We've been travelling for three days. <laughs> so uh, we <laughs> we, give, we give up a lot sooner. But yeah, it was all right. Nice to sort of sleep in a bed for the night. Um, but now we are going to continue our journey up the NT500. The next stop is John O'Groats. We are here, John O'Groats. We are in you. Love is yeah, open. Right We're too now. early. Work with a silly clock as normal. It's brisk, but blue skies and sun over there. It's doing this. 26, 26, mate. Degrees Celsius today. But we might today actually have to put some suntan lotion on. But this is a. Go on, love. Get right at the top. Wow, what a climber! <laughs> This is a uh, first and last brewery. Oh, none of this can be open though. This is a key point in the trip. It's the most northerly point in the UK and the most northerly point, obviously, that we can go. So, um, this is it. It is west from now on. We are at Land's End, 800 and a mere 874 miles. Of course, it's the Orkney Islands, isn't it? Orkney, eight miles, that's, that's the Orkney Islands over there in the distance. And 152 to the Shetland Islands. Oh, that is a cold breeze. That is a cold breeze. In Scotland, John O'Groats. Yeah, because the, there's the first and last pub in uh, Land's End. John O'Groats Trail. Ah. Oh. Well, let's see how she goes. You're feeling quite adventurous today, aren't you? Because action cam. Come on, keep up with it. Keep up. <laughs> action cam. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go for a little walk. I'm thinking maybe not all to the end, all the way to the end, but. Because it is brisk. <laughs> This morning, but we're pretty much the most northern people, the select few of the 60 plus million people in the UK. I oh, know there's the Orkney Islands, isn't there, as well? On mainland UK, we are the highest in the country right now, we're at the top of the country. What's that? It's maybe a whale. Is it? It's a shark come dolphin come whale. <laughs> That's funny. Good effort, whoever that was. Good effort. <laughs> maybe it's Davy. Davy made that with his bare hands. In his shed. Yeah, in his shed. No, no disrespect, Davy boy. Oh yeah, a bit brisk, a bit too cold for uh, Dunnett's head. So we just walked up a sort of towards it and then we turned back. We got ourselves a nice egg bap from the cabin, little um, little cafe opposite the gift shop there. So that was nice uh, and, a, and a coffee. And uh, now we're gonna get back on the road. So the next stop's about an hour away. I think it's Straffy Bay, which is just a nice beach area, from what I can see. Mm. Right, love. And then onwards to Durness.
we have found a hairy cow. It's the third one we've seen. It just so happens that this one we could pull over and get a closer look at it. There we go. There he is. Have a good old munch of grass. Classic. Life from dream. It's got a very grungy haircut, isn't it? from dream. Been right in the 90s. Hmm? Yeah. Bye guys. So we have stopped at Sango Sands campsite in Durness. So after we left John O'Groats, we were, we did plan to stop at Strathby Bay. And we did, we just, I mean I lazily just put it into Google Maps and I thought, Ugh. I thought that, that would take us to a nice beach basically. From what I can remember from seen it on YouTube but instead it just sort of took us down some private road with a load of farms and stuff. Uh, it wasn't a waste of drive though. We got about a mile out of our way but we saw the hairy cows didn't we? So and we got some pictures so that was really good. <laughs> only, only the well in the end there was sort of half a dozen or so of them in the field but it was only like the third sort of set of hairy cows you've seen so it's a seize opportunity. Close up as well. Close up and personal. But uh yeah on the on the way we saw some absolutely stunning scenery uh, which we knew was coming. We've seen some nice stuff on the east coast but as you drive from Drone Groats and you go past Shrafty Bay which we failed to see it then gets into the passing place uh, passing place territory essentially so it's putting in every every few minutes for them to pull in let a van go a car go whatever motor home go but it was all right because we had some absolute stunning out of this world scenery we've got a bit of footage some pictures as well but ah oh, absolutely beautiful so all in all it's about two and a half hours of driving a few hours but yeah the last sort of at least half of that was just jaw dropping scenery and now we're here so it's nice another coastal campsite Beautiful. 22 pounds for non-electric so we're happy with that it's the cheapest night so far a pitch so far at least so that's pretty good now we're just gonna have a little walk we're just gonna have well we're looking at the beach but if we go down or not it's another thing hey we've got to go down on the beach and then just up the road there's the smooth cave so we're gonna have a look at that it's well stocked there's um there's a cafe and bar on site that open a little bit later there's a there's a spa just around the corner and a licensed um grocery store that we drove past wasn't it a bit far up there so Go with him, mate. down there with someone sitting there, I don't know if that's what that is. Well that's the cave, that's the smooth cave. Apparently you've got to pay 10 pounds cash to get in. I mean I've got your cash on it so that's really annoying. So we're gonna have a little look in there I suppose. Oh, 
Opa! Wow, I assume this is a bit coming up that you've got to pay for. This is where I slip and fall. God, I mean that is White Sandy Beach, isn't it? Yeah. Can't get much better than that really. Oh, it's so hard. Oh, it gets too hard stuff. <laughs> yeah, guaranteed. Guaranteed our train is gonna be full of the white stuff now. But it's worth it, it's worth it. Literally got the beach to ourselves. I mean, it's the nice of days, but it's not cold either, really, especially down here. It's not really windy, is it? It's trapping the sun a little bit when it comes out. It swirls in the sand. That's the, uh, it's the shells again, isn't it? That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing this is low tide. Stand on the shell. Check out how clear that water is. So nice. All right, we're back from Sango Sands pub, I suppose. There's a pub and a restaurant and there's a campsite. We have gone full jeans and socks. And I had my, my coat on. Gone full Scotland um, protection, you know from the elements, because it has dropped a little bit. The woman who rented the place was last night, she said that in Dernes it was going to be 26 to, to, today, but it's bullshit, because it's not, it's half that at least. Um, it's been like highs or like 13, but anyway. Um, we got kitted out, to, so we're warm enough. I even bought myself a new hat as well, so you'll see that in the next few, uh, few days. But um, yeah, we had a nice couple of pints in the Sango Sands pub, come back, and uh, made an elite dinner. That's what I'm talking about. Pasty, beans, packet mash, bit of bread. That's how you do it. Camper van dinner, eat your bloody heart out, over and out. Right, so we left Durness, a wet, damp, foggy, misty Durness this morning, cold as well. And been driving for half an hour down from Durness. We we're ultimately going towards Alapool. Yeah, we're about half an hour south from Durness and the drive was pretty spectacular. We've got some good pictures, a little bit of video footage as well. Awesome drive, awesome drive. We just stopped in this little place. Where are we? Scoury. Scoury. So, hit up spa, got a coffee, pan of chocolate, and some iron brew jelly babies. How cool is that? Nice little campsite here and scoury. Beautiful. Is there a view at the back there, is there? Huh? Is there a view at the back there? Not from us. Trying to work out how you got up there. <laughs> <laughs> that view over there is just spectacular. It's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> this is definitely, it's not, well, there was a bit of a passing place uh, drive as we come out of Durness, but 
yeah every so every few miles you're just getting these viewpoint stop-offs with these amazing views absolutely unbelievable find the Wailing Widow waterfall, not sure what happened there, but we have found Ard Wreck Castle, because there's not much left of it in fairness. It's a wreck. <laughs> it's a wreck. <laughs> Okay, the dungeons. Yeah. What's made me like this was once the where the very wealthy people of the area lived. Now it's nothing but a ruins. That other one. Yeah. The castle, or, or what's left of it, is just the excuse to come to this area, isn't it? Really, no, it's just the landscape is just quality. They're good, but it ranks quite low to, as a castle. The ones you see, but in terms of yeah, a ruins and the area that it's in, it ranks quite high. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Wow, check this out. That is crazy. That is what today is all about. We have to stop a dozen times and we're doing it because this landscape on the west coast of Scotland is amazing. 